Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.co.uk uh, back with a quick tip Tuesday for you and this is around wooden blocks. Um, now I most of my stamp set I have to say are on clear blocks but I do sometimes get them on wood blocks particularly when I'm using them in class because it saves having lots of clear blocks. But one of the things that put uh, puts people off about um, wood mounted ones uh, is the fact that it's difficult to line up the stamp. So you know you put it on your block and then you put your sticker on and then it doesn't quite line up. So this isn't perfect but this is the way I find of generally lining up my um, stickers with where the stamp is on the block and it's really quick and easy to do. As you can see I've done these ones here but I've left one which is still to do which is one of the sentiments. So the first thing you're going to do is just take an ordinary piece of photocopy paper and you're going to lit oh, literally, I see say that a lot, don't I? You're going to cut around it. I'm just using a scalpel. You could use your grid paper, but I would recommend that if possible, you use um, some just plain copy paper and um, just trim that down. So you have a piece of paper that is the size of your block, like so. Pop that down and you're now going to stick your sentiment to your block. Now I do use grid paper for doing this because Stampin' Up! have actually obviously made that as, as square as possible. So I line that up so that it's reasonably square and I just place my stamp, my block over there as square as I can to the grid lines and press down. So, all good to go. Yeah, that actually doesn't look great. <laughs> so again, just peel it off. You've got a little bit of time. I'm just going to tie it again. It is more difficult when you're doing it on a video. So, just line that up. Okay, still not, not perfect, but actually using this method, it doesn't matter so much. Get a strong coloured ink. So I'm just going to use our fresh pig here. Um, and this is quite a juicy one. Ink up really well. And then with your paper lined up, with your block, stamp straight down. So what you've got is you've got a block. And now... All I'm going to do is turning it over, I'm going to put a couple of lines on where my stamp is. I'm going to get my sticker, and this is the tricky bit, because obviously these stickers are designed to stick on wood, they are sticky, you're the police, you know. So I use my piercing tool and put that face down onto my paper. just tweak that from the side so I think it is like why is it whenever it goes whenever it's on a video it doesn't work it, it really is it is a little bit fiddly I'll be the first to admit but it's about the best way I've managed to get um, things to work so with your block facing up towards you line that up over the paper and put that down and then generally your block now lines up with where your stamp is i hope that's helpful i found it's the best way so far i've got of getting them reasonably well lined up um, to minimize miss stamping later on anyway that's my tip thanks for watching come back and see me again soon if you want anything that um, I've demonstrated today, then pop along to my Stampin' Up! shop, heidysmith.stampinup.net. Bye now.